Hello my friend, and welcome back to a Racer Thoughts video. I know it's been forever, but you know how it is, life gets in the way. But now that's taken care of, we're back at full throttle making some sick videos for 2019. Hope you guys enjoy, let's get to it. In this video, we're gonna talk about how much does a Formula 1 car weigh in 2019, or to be precise, how much does it have to weight? Power and weight are the two most important factors for a race car. The infamous power to weight ratio, or how much power you have for every kilogram of weight you have to move. Generally speaking, you want more power and less weight. Together, they are like the yin and yang of racing. With a higher power to weight ratio, you can accelerate faster, brake later and corner at higher speeds since you have less mass to carry around and more force to move the remaining mass. A Formula 1 car is no different. Constructors work hard to shed every last gram they can from their cars in order to improve their performance. Their goal is to stay just marginally above the minimum weight required by the regulations and squeeze as much power as possible from their engines. So how heavy is a Formula 1 car? Regulation changes happen all the time. Every year, the FIA makes changes to the Formula 1 regulations, rewriting and tweaking different areas of the rules according to what they think needs to be improved. One subtle yet significant change for the 2019 season is weight, specifically how it's measured. The minimum weight of a car without fuel, but including the driver and ballast, had an increase of 10 kilograms for 2019. From 2018's 733 kilograms, to 743 kilograms this year. I suspect this is to accommodate changes made to the bodywork, such as the larger front and rear wings and the new larger fuel tank, whose max capacity went up from 105 to 110 kilograms of fuel. More important, however, is that driver weight will now be considered separate to the car. From now on, out of the required 743 kilograms, at least 80 kilograms must be made up of the driver, his seat, and his driving equipment like helmet, gloves, suit, etc. Whereas before, there was no minimum weight for the driver, putting heavier drivers at a disadvantage. The regulations also state that lighter drivers must bring themselves up to the 80 kilogram threshold by adding ballasts. However, this ballast must stay inside the cockpit area, simulating a heavier driver, and cannot be used to help improve the balance of the car by placing it elsewhere. This new regulation, I believe, will no longer put taller drivers like Esteban Ocon and Nico Hockerberg in a tight spot compared to their lighter, shorter rivals, like they were in 2018. Taller and heavier drivers leave little to no room to play around with weight distribution and balance of the car using ballasts to strategically distribute the weight. They marginally raise the center of gravity, decreasing stability and ultimately performance, even if it's just a little bit. Hopefully, we will also have a much more transparent competition between teammates, since they are the only ones we can directly compare to each other in terms of performance. A more balanced grid and a more head-to-head -head action is what the FIA and Formula 1 expect these changes will bring to the races. They want to provide a better spectacle for their fans. I for sure appreciate the thought, but only time will tell if they're right. You can access the complete sporting and technical regulations from the FIA website, link is in the description. Until next time, these were just Racer Thoughts. <laughs>